Hi guys, so we are in Texas already and we just went to go do some groceries because I have, you know, to stock up on my meals for the week and the weekend. Um, it is time for me to have meal two, but we're kind of like playing it by ear. So my coach is kind of like telling me what I need to get as like the days go on. So since um, I didn't have like any chicken prepared, I just went to Trader Joe's and I'm getting this just chicken. Um, so it's already cooked and it's just seasoned with like salt and pepper. So I'm just gonna weigh it out here. And then we are at a 7-Eleven so that I can use their microwave and then heat it up here. So we are going to, I bought my own containers. I have my food scale. And then we're just gonna weigh it out to whatever I need to get. So, all right, so that is my four ounces of chicken that I get. So I'll be good. And then I get um, 18 grams of almond butter with two rice cakes. So I'm going to put the almond butter on top of the rice cakes and just like split it. And that's it. And then I I'm kind of waiting for the Airbnb to be ready. So I guess we're just doing this while we wait and then I'm gonna go to Walmart and pick up some stuff that I'm gonna need for like, um, you know, show day or like other things. So I'll kind of show you guys what I'm gonna get there, but I'm super excited, I'm feeling all the emotions. I'm anxious, I'm nervous, um, but, and behind all of that, I'm still very calm. I feel really, really, really good. My health feels really good. Like. My energy is good, um, so I'm just super excited. updating you guys our airbnb still isn't ready so we just came to the galleria mall to kind of just walk around get some steps in and then um we're gonna head to the airbnb as soon as they let us we did send them a message telling them to let us know if um we could check in a little bit earlier because we arrived earlier than expected so they're just gonna keep us updated with when we can go in um, but for now, we're just killing some time. I did go to Walmart to buy some things, so I'll kind of show you guys once I get to the Airbnb and start like unpacking stuff. What I got from Walmart, um, just a few necessities for like show day and for the stay here. So I'll show you guys in a bit. What is up you guys? So I just wanted to show you what I got at Walmart. I just woke up from a nap, but I told you guys that I was gonna show you guys what I got. So I ended up going to buy just like a little cheap throw blanket, something that I can cover myself up with backstage or sit on um, to stay warm, to stay comfy. And um, oh my God, baby. Oh my God. These are pajama pants. There's not a blanket. What? What? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well. Do you think either one of us would have realized that? Anyways, I might have to go back to the store and get a blanket but I ended up getting 
some black sheets for the bed here at the Airbnb and black pillowcases because once I get my spray tan on, I don't want to mess up like their um, sheets here and then I could just dispose of them afterwards. So it's just something good that if you're staying at a hotel or if you're staying at an Airbnb and you're getting a spray tan um, to, you know, take care of their belongings and just get yourself some black sheets and stuff. We got some Sour Patch Cakes. I don't know when I'm going to be eating one of those, but, you know, we, we're going to get some at some point. Got some chapstick. Got a little um, mirror for backstage just to keep myself um, fresh. Then I got myself some um, pump-up bands. I don't know if they're gonna have any backstage. Sometimes some shows say that you're not allowed to bring your own like um, pump-up equipment, um, that they have pump-up equipment backstage, but in case they don't and they allow it, I have my own, so. Um, other than that, I just got some other little stuff, like some shaving cream, some hairspray, and then everything else is mayonnaise, but. This is a major fail. I can't believe I just did that. And they're a 2X, so it ain't like I can wear them. Hi guys. Okay, so I'm officially two days out. Well, probably less than two days out. Um, today has been interesting. So just to kind of give you guys a little bit of information. So when I was sleeping last night, I woke up at like four in the morning to use the bathroom. And then I opened up my Instagram and saw that Instagram had taken down my account. And I just took a deep breath and went back to sleep because I was like, Lord, I don't want to deal with this right now. So went back to sleep, woke up and then tried to appeal it. And then Instagram said that they were unable to verify my identity so that my account was permanently disabled. And yeah, so I currently don't have an Instagram, which I'm taking it as like a blessing and a curse because it's able to kind of just allow me to take some time off of social media in the moments leading up to my show, but I'm not gonna lie, it did cause a little bit of stress um, at first because obviously um, I have giveaways that I'm running. I have, um, you know, my broadcast channel and I have all of you guys that I'm updating, you know, day to day on my show and stuff. So I'm still going to be, you know, taking pictures, video and all of that. And hopefully by the time this video is up, my Instagram is back up and then this would all just be, you know, um, a little bump in the road, but um, otherwise today we've just been hanging out. Dallas is not the move. It's pretty caca. Yeah, pretty caca Dallas here. is definitely uh, <laughs> it's definitely not somewhere that we're interested in uh, moving to. But list. yeah, it's it's definitely you know bueno. not worse than St. Louis, but it's you know. yeah, St. Louis is probably the worst that we've ever been to. But Dallas is. I mean, we haven't really explored Dallas, to be fair, but from what we have seen, we don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we are getting ready to go get a workout in, and then, um, yeah, and then tomorrow is one day out where I'll be doing all the other fun stuff. So, just wanted to update you guys on my day. Today was just chilling, just relaxing. And that's it. Hasta mañana. Hasta later.
Good morning guys, we are officially one day out and um, I'm starting to, you know, feel everything. Um, in the moments leading up to the show, like you're getting, or like the days leading up to your show is when you're starting to get like the emails of like what time your hair and makeup is going to be, reminders of like your appointments and stuff like that. So I'm the type of person that I want to make sure that have a plan or like a schedule so today I'm gonna kind of pack my bag for show day to just kind of show you guys what I'm gonna be bringing with me backstage um, my hair appointment is at 4 in the morning tomorrow um, so I want to make sure that I'm getting good sleep today I'm gonna get my first coat of tan tonight um, and we have the athlete meeting and the check-ins for tomorrow so yeah, I mean, we're, we're here, we made it. So I'm excited, I'm nervous, um, but we got this. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Alright guys, this is going to be the vibe to athlete check-ins and for my first coat of tanning. Because we got to be loosey-goosey, baby, loosey-goosey. What's up, guys? We are just getting to the stadium where the athlete meeting and the check-ins are going to be. So I'm super excited. Starting to get nervy, hmm. <laughs> but I'm super excited. All right, what is up you guys? We are back at the Airbnb and we have um, finished with our athlete check-ins and we finished with our first coat of tan. So I'm tanned and they told me that I had to wear a long sleeve and long loose pants. So that's why I'm wearing this. Um, I am number 339 tomorrow. So I'm super excited for that. Um, it's real guys it's so real right now i'm feeling all the feelings i'm feeling nervous i'm feeling excited um anxious um but i'm ready i think what makes me more nervous is just like the timeline of everything like um making sure that i'm on time for like hair and makeup and next coat of tan and making sure that i have everything that i need more nervous for that than actually being on stage if that makes sense so um, I kind of wanted to show you guys a little bit of what I have packed in my bag for tomorrow. So, um, I have my suit in here and, um, my button, so my number, and then I have my jewelry that came in the box and the original box that I came in. I have a charger. I have a little baggie here with like, um, rubber bands chapstick lip gloss just my little basic touch-up stuff i have a little mirror i have my heels i have a salad patch kids that my coach told me to get um i'll be taking some of that at some point i have these standing urinals because with your tan when you go to the bathroom you don't want to risk it running or like coming down your leg or whatever messing up your tan um, I have a black robe that I'm going to be wearing over my suit while I wait backstage. I have a flat iron. I have my little sandals that I'm going to be wearing, um, probably backstage. 
just because I don't want to be in the heels the whole time and I don't want to wear like anything hard that's going to be rubbing against my tan or leaving marks. So they always recommend um, like a little fluffy um, slippers. And then I have a black throw blanket um, because I'm obviously going to be sitting um, in the back for a while. It was cold there today, so it's probably going to be cold there tomorrow. So just something to sit on or cover myself with. I am going to take this um, neck pillow as well, just in case, um, because it's going to be a super long day tomorrow. So um, we have that. I have an extra outfit here for afterwards if um, we decide to go somewhere or something. I don't know. Um, but I just have like leggings and a hoodie. And um, other than that, I'm going to pack like my meals that I'm going to take with me. Oh, I have some pump up bands because the show itself is not providing any pump up equipment backstage. So they said that we were responsible for getting our own pump up bands. So I did get um, a light, medium and heavy pump up band that I can pump up backstage. Oh, what else? Um, other, than, other than that, I'm gonna be taking, you know, almond butter, rice cakes, um, and then my meals. So I'm probably gonna take Tupperware of chicken, Tupperware of fish, Tupperware of rice, um, the almond butter, pretty much things that she's um, been feeding me this week or that I've been having to, to make this week based off of my plan. Um, I'm gonna take water and then I'm gonna take a little cup and obviously my food scale and tripod because I'm gonna be doing check-ins, I'm gonna have to be weighing my food and my water. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I have in my bag. Um, I have to be up for makeup at 4.05. My, well, no, my makeup appointment is at 4.05, so I have to wake up probably at like 3 o'clock. I'm going to wake up. I'm going to drink some coffee. I'm going to take my uh, vitamins, and then I'm going to head to my makeup, which is at 4.05, and then my hair whew, is at 4.40. So probably be done with that about like 5.15, then I think it gives me enough time to come back to the Airbnb and get my bag and everything else that I'm gonna need um, because I have to get my second coat of tan at 7 a.m. Um, which I'm not excited about because I don't think that I'm gonna be on stage until like 12 o'clock, maybe. Um, there's 701 competitors and I am the last category to go on for prejudging. So it's gonna be a long morning. And then finals are supposed to be at 4 p.m. And I am the second group to go up for finals. So I'm gonna be the last one to go up for prejudging and the second one to go up for finals. So um, yeah, we're super excited. I'm, I'm ready and, uh, to show like everything that we worked so hard for all, all of this time. So I hope that you guys have been enjoying this video so far. Um, because today ends my peak week vlog. Um, and then tomorrow I will try to record my show day, um, video. I've been very like sad about my Instagram being disabled because I normally love to keep you guys updated with everything. And I feel so bad that I haven't been able to, um, but I know that some of you have reached out to Manny on his Instagram and then, you guys have also followed me on my personal account that I made um, public for the meanwhile, meanwhile to just update everyone um, on my stuff or on my, my show stuff. But I'll put that back private when I'm done with um, my show. But I'm still trying my best to get back to it. Sorry guys, I'm so tired. Um, yeah, we are going to get ready to eat and then just relax for the rest of the night. But I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon.